From London to New York, from Tokyo to Singapore, from Beijing to Paris, all economic activities have been weakened by the sudden outbreak of COVID-19. This is not only a reminiscence of the Black Death that's sweeping the European continent in the middle of the 14th century, or the plague of 17th century London. It is feared that, like dominoes, COVID-19 will not only slow down the pace of the global economic recovery, but also destroy globalization. Costco shipping is the important carrier to get through the lifeblood of the economic globalization. Costco shipping ranks first in the world in terms of comprehensive capacity. How does such an industry giant, which is closely related to the global economic trends, perform in the globe when the COVID-19 is spreading? The coronavirus outbreak is certainly have some impact for the global economy and the shipping industry. I'm uh, Wang Haimin. I'm a uh, vice president of the Costa Shipping Corporation. I can show that about 1,300 vessels is sailing around the world now. We worked seven days, 24 hours, even under the severe situation to guarantee these supplies on time delivery. Up to now, we have transported more than 120,000 ton of medical supplies. Since February 10th, we have about 1,035 subsidiaries in China resume work. We believe when outbreak is fed, the demand will rebound rapidly. China's importance in the global supply chain and the industry will not be undermined. The WHO judges that COVID-19 is not only a super epidemic that spreads across the globe, but also a large infectious epidemic that might be controlled for the first time of human history. David Gossett, a French scholar living in Shanghai, agrees with this view. He also gives a long-term forecast of China's development. Of course, we are facing, China has been facing a very, very severe crisis. But this crisis is not going to fundamentally change the course of uh, history. The Chinese Renaissance is uh, here to stay and it is going to change uh, the world. My name is uh, David Gosset. I have established the Europe-China Forum in 2002 in order to deepen the links between uh, Europe and uh, China. We have not only seen a resilient China because this coronavirus was a shock. The shock is being absorbed and by the way I expect a rapid recovery of the Chinese uh, economy and when you declare victory over such a crisis you become stronger. This crisis will not affect the Chinese Renaissance. It might even accelerate the Chinese Renaissance. According to the statistics from the International Monetary Fund, China's contribution to global economic growth has exceeded 30%. Professor Ian Golding is one of the most authoritative scholars on globalization. In his view, this epidemic has made the world realize China's huge influence in the global economy and its engine is still full of power. And very different to SARS in 2003, when China was only three percent of the world economy today, it's more like 18% of the world economy. I'm Ian Golden, I'm the Professor of Globalization and Development at the Oxford Martin School in Oxford. These risks like we saw in the financial crisis, the super spreading or the financial crisis, cyber attacks and viruses, and we see the super spreading of pandemics. This is a necessary underside, underbelly of globalization, what I call in my book, the butterfly defect. 
of globalization. Globalization has been a force for immense progress in the world, including in China. It is the reason why China has grown so quickly over the last 13, 14 years, because it has opened up to the world and become part of the global economic system. What we're seeing now with uh, the coronavirus is a shock uh, to China and to the world. It will slow growth, but this will be a temporary phenomenon. I think we will see recovery, uh, and in fact there might be even some higher level of growth as we catch up with what has not been done during the period where there's been quarantine and disruption to supply chains. So I do not see a disruption to the long-term trend.